What's up now? So we got Dirk and NBA Youngboy. Now, will Dirk and NBA Youngboy make a song together? Who knows? But Gilly, Gilly the Kid is, oh, to me, Gilly the Kid is opening up old wounds that, that somewhat has died down and I don't think it, there was a need for him to say what he said. And I guess somebody asked Gilly the Kid something because Gilly got this thing called the Gilly's Fest, right? And uh, so my question is, is NBA Youngboy being funny or is he being for real? Now, Gilly the Kid wants the both of them to perform on stage together at the Gilly Fest. And he's saying, yeah, hitting the stage together, showing the fans it ain't about that. It's about getting this money. Now, all money ain't good money, Gilly. All money ain't good money. That's what I'm saying. That King Von, as far as the internet, has died down to me, in my in my opinion, as far as, okay, we may, we still mad at NBA Youngboy about King Von. Crando Rondo, that's a whole nother story. But this NBA Youngboy, all right? Crando Rondo still, yeah, his level of hate is still there. It never went nowhere. And Lil' Tim. But we talk about NBA Youngboy. That part of it had died down between him and Dirk. So this is what he's asking. I guess he's asking NBA Youngboy. You know what I'm saying? Like, how do you feel about that, dog, this and that. NBA Youngboy comes out and says, he tells Gilly, he said, hey, Gilly. He said, hey, OG, I talk to Dirk every two, three days, every two, three nights. All right? We talk about music and money, you know. Dirk talking about he want he you know he chasing to be a billionaire and shit like that. So I just took it as they talk about music and money. And then he says he tell him uh, take uh, NBA YoungBoy says tell them to take me off you know house arrest or whatever you know tell tell them to get me off this house and I hit that stage for you you know what I'm saying now. Is he being for real or being sarcastic, right? Some people say, well, shit, they don't like each other, people. They just, you know, if you're not from the street, then you ain't going to know, you know, that they just talking shit and they trolling each other. All right, all right. Because Lil Dirt says, hey, man, you lied. You said you, you sent your address seven times and you didn't and some shit. I guess he was going to go visit him or some shit, you know. They, I guess they are trolling each other, right? But <laughs> this is crazy shit. So now I'm wondering, would Dirk consider sharing a stage with him? Even if he playing for that bag, you know what I'm saying? Even if he's playing, you know, that's my point. E even if NBA Youngboy is trolling, but if yeah, young boy can't do this anyway because of the super fact he can't leave the house, you see. So yeah, but what I'm I'm thinking though, with Dirk, and and the excuse would be for the fans. This was be this would be a good look that you know we don't need to argue and do this. See, it's past that. King Vine's dead. It's past that people. Ain't no coming back from that. That's like pre going to hook up with Gotti and shit. It's too late for that. It's in. It's up and it's. It's up and it's stuck. So why even bring that shit back up? And now they trolling each other back and forth. Like 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 why even bring that back up, Gilly? You out of all the people you want to see, NBA Young Boy and Lil Dirt on the fuck stage together or making song together and shit like that. Out of all fucking people. See, this is a prime example, people. Listen, of leave well enough alone. Huh? Leave well enough alone, Gilly. The hell is you doing? The hell is you doing? That's still a soft spot to some people. King Vine, yeah. So why the hell would you, you know what I'm saying, try to get them together? Like, what the fuck? Huh? Well, anyway, people, short little video, man. I just felt like 
at the end of the day, in conclusion to this video, leave well enough alone. They don't need to be talking to each other. They don't need, uh-uh, because, let me tell you why, if that ever happens, like I've been said from day one, if some shit like that ever happened, and all the shit they have said about sacrificing, uh, F, rest in peace to FBG Duck, because he said it in a song. Basically, he said, the only reason why Dirk got King Vine around is to sacrifice him. That's it. And what happened? When King Vine died, that's the first thing people said. That's the first people, first thing people said was Dirk sacrificed King Vine. So, so, so I don't care how much time goes by, and we see your stank ass making a song with who? An NBA young boy. That just shows us people a confirmation. Of what the really of what really happened with the King Von situation, huh? That's sad. Well, anyway, people, I don't want to see the shit. You hear me? I don't want to. I want to see that shit. I I would rather for them just to not say anything to each other. Y'all ain't gotta be cool. None of that shit. Just you can let bygones be bygones, but I be damned if I want to see some shit like that. No, 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 no. Like I said, it has died down now. That's some shit you should have been saying in the beginning, and then it wouldn't have made no sense to say it then either. You see what I'm saying? Like, man, it's up and it's stuck, and it's like that. You know what I'm saying? Uh, shout out to both artists, but y'all don't need to be around each other. Hell no. Nah. Y'all do not need to be around each other, because, see, it hit different when you talk about NBA Youngboy, but it also hit different when he's still affiliated with who? Quandorano and Lil' Tim. How does that work? How would that work? It can't. So, yeah, I'm with everybody else on that, that, that they trolling each other. You know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, man, don't, hey, don't make this no butter up situation. I don't give a damn. Y'all ain't got to talk to each other and y'all ain't got to want to kill each other either, but just leave it alone. Okay? Message.